Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for April 29th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. Okay, we got two sixes here, and this six looks up, placing the six in this box. Uh, any other repeats? Four and six, five, six, nine? No. Uh, any geometry of note? This three looks in, but there's no three over here. Looking for crossings. Um, yes, we have a crossing on this 8, 6. This 5 looks in, this 5 looks in. So that puts a 5 in one of these two. I'm just going to point into this box along with this 5, putting a 5 up here. Important thing to remember is these are not 5. That's what these corner marks are trying to help us do. Um, I don't see any other crossings here. OK, I'm going to move on to the next band. No, this this rows down to four. Let's talk, let's think about it. We need three, seven, eight, nine. Um, well, this is seven, eight, nine. These are three, seven, eight, and that was not even a seven. And this is three, seven, nine. Okay. Now we'll move on. Uh, the three is placed in this box. We have the double threes here. Um, that actually removes three from here. That means three claims for the row. Interesting. Okay. Um. Sorry, I got the, the three repeat. Uh, let's look at five, seven, eight. So the eights repeat. No eights there, so eights down here. Uh, this is filled, so we have the six looking in, putting a six up here, and uh, placed here in this box. These point in, right? So six is placed. We had these two sixes looking in. Um, so that was useful. Three, two. The two looks in, two looks down, so two's here. That's going to point in here, making a hidden 2-8 pair in this box. This is a triple. We need the 1. We have the 2, 3. We need 4 and 9. That's not 1. That's not 4. Leaves a pair behind. 1, 2, 3, 4. We need 5 and 7, it looks like. OK. Anything else of note here? This is basically filled. 2, 3, 8, 6, all taken care of. Eight here as well. Any any crossings of no? I mean, it's really it's all just two, three, sixes, and eights, and uh, the two, three, six, and eight are all accounted for. Okay, what about five, seven? They're counted for here. I don't see any crossings on five sevens here. Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, we do have we do have a bunch of fives looking in, so we can mark the five here if we want, which we do. Okay, now I'm going to move on. Uh, the nine does have a buddy. One, nine, and one of these two. I was hoping it was placed, but it's not. Uh, one, two, and three. The two has a buddy. Two is down here. This is filled in general. So um, the three looking in does, does place the three in the box, which then puts a three over here. This three actually resolves the three in for the row in the box. Um, but it was, it was really the row that limited these threes. That's why I said row. Um, OK, uh, this, anything else to look for? This, this box is down to 1, 4, and 8. We'll just mark that. Um, why do I have threes? Did I mean to corner mark them? I did. OK. Um, any crossings that, there's not really much opportunity. Yeah. Oh, we do have two sixes, though. So actually, six is just placed in this box. Would have seen that from a vertical scan uh, next, but might as well place it now. Uh, does that introduce any crossings here, like the eight? No, two and six are running the box. Eight does not help, unfortunately. It's close. How about here? Eight, six. No. OK. Uh, I'm going to look at verticals now. Let's look at the stacks. So four and six, six is done. Four, no buddies, no crossings. OK, we've got the two, three, six, and eight. We don't care about the six. The two and the three have buddies, though. So these twos look in. Two's in one of, two's in one of these two. Uh, the three, three's in one of these two. Um, the eight still doesn't do much. OK, anything else of note? Um, 
Not really. I think I want to move on. Let's do this stack. Uh, the three and the six are all done for the stack. So we have the five and the nine. The five we have marked. The nine we did not mark yet. In fact, the nine is placed. All right, let's follow up horizontally. How does that help? Yeah, so nine's here. That's actually a hidden two nine pair in the, in the box. Only got that just now because we got this nine. Um, that leaves a triple behind. We need one, four, and six. Oops, one, four, and six. And we know that the six is up here already. With the two nine, we're down to one, four, five, seven. I'm going to fill that because I see a five and a seven looking in. In general, this whole box is one, four, five, seven, which we can mark. So the seven's here, which means seven's up here. Yeah, the seven's pointing up, making this an eight. Very nice. That makes this two an eight. This isn't an eight. Eight's in one of these two. Does this two help? Yeah, two is placed here. That places the two here. Nice. Okay, does that help the vertical or the... That doesn't seem to help much, does it? The rest of this box, though, might be interesting. Uh, down to four digits, we need the one. We have two, three, and we need four and seven. We know this one's not seven because of the pointing sevens. Um, one, four, seven, one, four, five. Yeah, everything's kind of working out. Okay, nothing more with that stack. Anything horizontally? I don't see it. All right, we need to do this vertical now. So the nine, nobody for the nine. Uh, yeah, it's not good enough. All right, how about the one, two, six, eight? We do have a buddy for the eight. So eights are down here somewhere. Hmm. I got a bunch of sixes. I must have not followed up on something. So six is in one of these two. All right, anything vertical, yeah, this column is down to one, three, four, what did I miss? One, three, four, five. Uh, I think it's all worth marking, one, three, four, five, because this sees the one, I see this sees the three, and I saw this all one. But it doesn't resolve anything. Uh, I'm just interested in this cell because it's missing a bunch of these corner marks. So what can it be? It can't be one, two, three. It could be four, five. Can't be six. Could be seven. Can't be eight or nine. Okay. Not as exciting as I hoped. Um, just looking to see if I missed anything to follow up on here. Uh. It's not much to find, to be honest. I'm just double checking my corner marks as well, make sure I respected them all. Okay, I think the next step is to look for. Uh, did I? Did I really? I didn't really look for geometry in earnest, so maybe I should just double check each box, make sure I didn't miss anything there. But I also want to look for restricted uh, cells. Um. I'm kind of debating which one I want to do next. I think I'll just go box by box, make sure I didn't miss anything important there. We got the 246 in this box. Um, not much going on with that. The 4 would be... Yeah, I mean, we know the 4 is here. We don't know much about 4 down here. Okay. Uh, this box, there's not much to see, is there? It's just so full. Um, we do have the pointing 7s, which we took care of. Okay. Uh, this box we have the one, two, six, and eight. So we do need a one and an eight in this row. It's not here. Hmm. Oh, eight. Yes, eight in this row is actually only here. Uh, in fact, it's same with this box. Uh, so I somehow missed that. I somehow missed. I missed budding up these eights. I don't. I don't know. I missed a follow up. That's an eight. Uh, eights are down here now. What else does this do? Um. I don't know. This is why I go box to box, because sometimes I just miss something obvious. I don't know that this 8 does much more. We know that these two cells are restricted, so let's just skip ahead here. We need the 4 and 5, and we know that, yeah, okay, this is definitely going to be worth marking, because this can't be 4 and this can't be 5, right? We have 1, 2, 3, we need 4, 5, we have 6, we need a 7, and then they can't be 8, 9. So they are down to buy values. 
This is a 5-7 pair. I knew that would be helpful. All right, so this is only one nine, and it can't it can't even be nine. This is the naked single one. That's a nine. We get the four and the one here. This is a seven and a five. Ooh, that was that was important. Okay, that eight that I missed was important. That's seven. That's five. It wasn't even that hard of a spot. That's five. This is seven. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna clean those up. Okay, one four pair. Ah, five and three are placed in this box. This is seven. This is nine. We get the 4, 1, and 7. We get the 7 here. We get our 4, 3. We get our 9 in here. Uh, 4 and 1 here. That's our 6 and 4 and 1. Everything's resolving. We get our 5. Pick an order. Okay, let's clean up this 3. Clean up the 6. That places the 6. Does not place the 8. Um, we've got our 4 in here. We got our 4 over here with the 5. All right, everything kind of cleaner now. What do we need in this box? We need a 4. Yeah, so that's 4 and 8. That's eight and two, that's one and eight. We get our nine and our two. Uh, how about up here, what do we need? We need a three and we need a nine, okay. And then down here we need one and seven. That's one, that's seven, and we're done. All right, uh, honestly, pretty straightforward puzzle today. Uh, I didn't follow up properly on placing this eight and I don't remember how long ago that was, but as soon as I placed this eight, I should have seen the buddy and I should have at least cornered eight down here, um, at least in one of these two. So yeah, that that's a mistake. Um, I just missed it. Follow-ups are are always hard to just really make sure you're you're doing. You can get distracted by other things and not backtrack. It happens to me all the time. And often when I get stuck on a puzzle, it's because I forgot to follow up on something. So um, if I had been a little bit more rigorous, less jumping around, I probably wouldn't have missed that. Um, but yeah, cool. Uh, still not not a terrible solve. Uh, I was able to recover from that. Going box by box and just making sure you didn't miss anything can be useful if you get stuck and you've already done all your the scanning you thought you needed to do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.